Hello and welcome to Y Force Music TV. That introduction gets bigger and bigger depending on how and big and awesome the instruments are that I'm reviewing. And today I'm inst uh, I'm instrumenting. I'm reviewing quite good instruments. So you know, big big introduction. Um, today I just thought because we're locked down, very sadly because of that COVID thing, that I, I might show off some cellos. That's a a good byproduct of that virus. Um, so today I will show you the Helmut Ilna B model cello. This is quite a super fancy, fancy cello. So Helmut Ilna is a very influential German cello maker um, who makes cellos out of wood that has been aged for a minimum of 10 years. And this, as you can see, is quite sort of antiqued. You'll see fading over here to the flanks. And, and I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of antique looking cellos. I think that looks good. And I think it's so you would call that moderately antiqued. Yeah. Now the grain on the front, if I bring it closer, is quite wide. Like the, the, um, the growth rings, between each of those growth rings, there's quite a, quite a lot of space. And, um, you know, that's quite unusual um, as far as cellos go for it to be that wide. I have seen some famous instruments before, though, an Amati violin once with really, really wide grain, which was, you know, worth half a million dollars sort of thing. So, you know, um, I think the end result, the, the sound at the end is what really matters, you know, whether or not it's very wide grain or not. I think it doesn't matter too much as long as it sounds great. And this one... Sounds pretty tasty. So that is Helmet Ilna B model. Okay, and the other ones that I'm showing you, which are one of the first sort of antiqued instruments that I laid eyes on. Actually, that's not true. I've seen a lot of sort of um, uh, actual antique instruments that were antiqued when they were made. But the, the, um, the J. Hyder, instruments. So this is a J Hyder, but it's using European wood. So they have a, a standard model, which is um, called just J Hyder Le Ancien. And um, this one is one, oh, so that one uses Chinese woods. This one uses European woods, and it's called the statue model. And the statue model, apparently the owner of J Hyder went on a holiday to Italy and saw very old statues and decided to use a similar patina um, to what he saw on those old statues in, in these statue model cellos, which is pretty cool. Um, but in the statue models, apparently they don't use the prettiest wood. Um, the, the wood with the, the most flaming on the back. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is the Voyem model, which is the top of the Euro wood model range. And it's got much more pronounced flaming on the back there, so it looks quite different. And I'll turn this around, put them right next to each other. So very slightly different in colouring. I'd say the, the statue model is slightly darker. Um, and the VM, they're, they're different shapes, of course, because VM was a, a famous French maker who was an amazing copyist. And so this is, you know, um, honouring the famous French maker VM. Um, and he actually made a famous Stradivarius violin called the Balfour Strad. And everyone thought it was a, a real Strad until it was taken to the Hill Brothers um, in around 1900, I think, something like that. And the Hill Brothers declared, this is not actually a Strad. This is made by that great copyist, Jean-Baptiste Vuillem. And um, so, but they still call it the Balfour Strad, even though it's, we know it's a Vuillem violin. So I'm rambling. So what I will do is I'll, I'll play these cellos and I'll, I'll do them in the same order that I was talking about them. So this is the Helmet Ilna B model cello. Let's see what it sounds like. Please tell me in your comments down below which one sounds the tastiest. Okay, 
So I would say that's a very even sound. It's nice and deep. One word that comes to mind is true, like the, the sound is always, you know, consistent and right and true with these helmet illner cellos. And so you sort of like, don't necessarily expect it to explode. Some of the other cellos like the, the J Hiders tend to be exploding <laughs> cellos, which possibly is not a good thing. Um, and when I say exploding, I don't mean they actually explode. It's just the sound really is scarily big and loud. This one has a big sound, but it's still nice and compact and solid and true. Not very good. Words, not good, Richard. Next, we have the statue model. Okay, so I'll play this one. sound. I would say the sound rings slightly more, but it's it's much more aggressive, more more aggressive sounding. So it's quite different to the Helmet Ilna. At the end after playing them and rambling on, I'll play them all again, but one after another without making lots of noise with my mouth. So next up we have the the VM model of the um, J Hiders. Now they have a standard Euro Strad model, which is a certain price. This is the just the next, you know, up in terms of quality of wood, workmanship, everything. They put everything they've got into this particular creature. Now you'll notice the strings are different. I do use different strings on each of these cellos, and I consider in these res reviews sometimes, you know, making all the strings the same, but I've settled on using the strings that I would sell them within the shop because you know otherwise you'll get something different to what you hear in the review. Alright, so this is a um, the VM model. the phone shaking while I was playing that because it was yeah it's really really big and really really strong and quite sort of aggressive if you want a cello that's really going to beat people up at the back of the auditorium then this this is possibly the cello the two Jai hiders are more like that the helmet Ilna is um, is also like that, but just a little bit more relaxed and refined sort of thing. Now what I will do is I'll play each one without rambling lots and lots. Okay, maybe I'll play my little weird bark interpretation. There it is.
definitely, it's sort of like going on a scale of volume. This one is definitely an exploding cello. And the ring as well, it's just sort of like reverberating all over the room. I don't know if you can hear the difference in the computer speakers, but certainly it's a, a bigger and slightly deeper and more projecty sort of sound. Um, and you know, each cello is different as well. So, you know, if I was to have five of this Jean Baptiste Fouillem style um, J. Hyder violin and five of the Helmut Ilner B model cello, um, there'd be some of the B model ones that just happen to be bigger sounding. They're all different pieces of wood, so they can't make them exactly the same every time, even if they do make them exactly the same every time, because the wood is different. So that's very difficult. Well, please tell me in the comments below which cello you think is better and um, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.